it's actually man actually beating nature. I mean, we're perfecting it and doing it better than nature. So for me, that I, there's an emotional thing to that too, because it's an enormous accomplishment to grow a material that you know, traditionally has been very difficult to grow. It's extremely difficult, near impossible to tell the difference between the two if they cut in the same way. A bit more okay, when you're ready. So this one here is a beautiful lab grown diamond. It's a beautiful six core setting set with a natural diamond in the center. I think it's so personal. Of course, we have customers that love the idea of uh, above ground diamond, that it has less environmental impact, but then the majority of our clientele still do opt for the natural diamond. I do feel it's purely marketing driven. I suspect probably people who like newer stuff maybe wouldn't mind so much, but for us, it's, it's the history. I, I think it's just the, if you're going to have something as glamorous as a diamond, you have to have the real thing. So, put it in here. Uh... <clears throat> you, know, you and I might not be able to tell it apart from the real thing. The fact that they look the same doesn't make them the same thing. One has enormous monetary value, obviously, and emotional value. The other one is a replica.